All right, hey guys. So this is our little demonstration of our project and we made a calorimeter. I'll explain that first. This is the base. It's just a humongous can with holes punched at the bottom for ventilation so the pressure would be equalized. And this over here is a, this is the top of it and there's little holes in the side with the rods and that would go right on the top. So that's simple. And then this is what the nut would be on and there's a cork with a needle on the top. So we're going to use a pecan or pecan to demonstrate and you just kind of get a little hole so it's resting on top basically and you take that and you put it right in the middle of this calorimeter. It's kind of slid to the side because we are tilting it. And then Sarah is going to demonstrate the water. So the first thing you want to do and make sure the water you're, you're using is distilled so that you can get um, so that it doesn't, so the minerals in the water don't affect the specific heat of the water. So we're going to measure half a cup of distilled water. Okay, and we're going to pour it into the top of our calorimeter. And then we're going to measure it with this fancy probe. we're going to have probe. the initial temperature of the water. Which you can see on this program on Sarah's laptop that she's got. So it's 18.9 degrees Celsius. And we would take this out. And light pecan or pecan. And it's best light from under to the top just because it starts on fire a lot faster. We don't want heat to be lost to the environment. We're trying to minimize the so amount of So as soon as heat. it catches fire, we put this on top. Coil. The coil further minimizes the loss of heat to the environment. And then we put the force probe, or the, not the force probe, the temperature probe. And then we check on... And then we just look at how much program. the temperature raises. Mm -hmm. And normally we would have the mass of this nut. We just didn't do that for your demonstration because we were demonstrating it at home and we got the mass from Ms. Sanger's digital skills at school. So, yeah, that's our demonstration.